The central Murray is probably the archetypal inland river. It's, it's what we associate uh, with the paddle steamers and, and that era, you know, the 1800s. It's really the Murray River, you know, basically between Albury and Mildura. Uh, so it's well known to Australians. And in terms of the historical evidence of native fish in the basin, it's probably the area that prior to my project we had the most information on. Uh, it was supported a massive commercial fishery for native fish. There'd been documented returns of how many tonnes per year had been railed out of places like Echuca or Waganya or Mildura. It had been the centre of most of what you could call was research done on native fish, certainly by Victorian uh, scientists, uh, in the first half of the 20th century. Uh, we have a snapshot of what the Murray was like, the central Murray, around the late 1940s, because after World War II, the Victorian Fisheries and Games Department commissioned a gentleman, uh, J.O. Langtree, John Langtree, to do a survey of the fishery, uh, looking at its health, looking at the, the health of the commercial fishery. And so what Langtree did was he set about documenting uh, records of uh, the opinions of the fishermen and actually documenting catches along the Murray over a two year period, all the way from the South Australian border up to uh, just above uh, Yarrawonga. He not only did that, he collected information on the reproduction of native fish, collected evidence on changes to the environment. So it was a fantastic piece of work. And that was completed about 1950, and then it sat in a drawer till 1960, and a few Roneoed copies went out to a few scientists, but the work was largely unknown. And it was rediscovered by uh, Philip Cadwallader from Victorian Fisheries in the mid-1970s and published. One of the things that Langtree did was he clearly recognised there was two species of cod and he documented it and uh, even documented things like the trout cod spurned, spawned earlier than Murray cod. So the central Murray was one area where we had a fair amount of information, at least from around 1950, of what it was like. But I still wanted to work on, on the area and collect as much information as possible because Langtree was saying in 1950 it had been greatly changed, so what was it like originally? And one person I'd met that had a lot of information on it, I actually met in the late 1970s, his name was uh, Wallace Clifford, Real no uh, his common name known to his friends as Laddie Clifford. And uh, he had been a commercial fisherman around Barma since the 1930s. I knew Laddie Clifford, his family had been at Barmer for several generations and he was still a working commercial fisherman and he could recall not only his stories back to the 1930s but the stories of past generations of fishermen as well and he knew all about trout cod but he talked about Macquarie perch catfish and Laddie passed away by the time I had done started this oral history but I still remembered many of his stories. And yeah, one anecdote, he, he, I remember him telling me, he loved all the fish, um, but he used to refer to silver perch as the shit of the river. Uh, and he was a real hard character, a real bushy, and, and he, he called them that because, well, they used to go along the bottom eating all the rubbish on the bottom of the river, and now and then they'd fill up his drum nets and he couldn't lift them out of the water and they'd have to jump out of his boat and get wet to let them all go. He didn't kill them, he still loved them, he let them go. My dad used to fish the Murray a lot at the old Creamery Reserve, just above How Long. I can remember as a kid I went out there with him. They used to set these lines with big cowbells. Each one was different so they'd know when they had a fish. 
I remember me dad mentioning they put the blue stone in the weir years ago to clear the water, and how it virtually wiped out everything in the river. Before the weir, there were what they now call the trout cod. We never called them that. They were called blue nose cod. Had the little pointy mouth and the dark blue head. We got one now and then, not as frequent as the Murray cod. The biggest I caught was about five to six pound. That was about the size of them. They were good fighters. They were lovely to eat. Better than the Murray cod. Sweeter than I caught a 20 pound blue nose in Mulwala Lake. By golly did he rattle. Murray cod will hit hard, but in two minutes he's giving it away and will float it to you. The trout cod, he's still fighting. I caught one while I was fishing in 25 feet of water for yellow belly. I got that fish right up to the boat 20 times and zzzz, you'd have to let him go right back to the bottom again.